If you're a designer or product owner, what's the best way to communicate with developers? I'm here in Parque Mexico, in front of a nice hotel and restaurant here, and want to talk to you about ways that you can communicate with developers if you're working with them as a designer or a product owner. Let's say, for example, you're creating a tool for the back end of WordPress. For example, something that we developed at XWP a few years ago was an interface to copy posts. And we'd have to select the specific areas of the post to copy. For example, maybe you'd want to copy five of the meta boxes into a new post. But let's talk about ways that you can do this. And specifically, I would keep in mind being very descriptive when you're talking to developers, being visual when possible with design, and communicating early. Being descriptive is very helpful with developers. Some things are left ambiguous if you don't actually show them. And it's good in the Jira tickets or GitHub issues to outline in detail everything you'd like. At XWP, a lot of times we'll use AC1 for acceptance criteria. It might be AC1 on clicking duplicate post, open a modal, and AC2 could describe the specific modal and all of the checkboxes that it might have. But when you're opening tickets or issues like this, be very descriptive in what you would like. It's good, like we talked about in step two, to be very visual whenever possible. There's some things that won't be easy to describe visually, but if it's something like you're popping open a modal to describe how to create a new post, Try to actually design that. Joshua Wold does a great job of talking about this. It can be a specific sketch, like using Sketch or using Figma, or it could be something that you've actually drawn physically with a pencil or a pen and you've taken a photo. But being visual is extremely helpful with communicating this with developers. Some things aren't a huge problem if you're not very visual, like if you don't describe a uh, 10 pixel margin that you need on the borders, that's not a huge problem, but especially this is going to be helpful when there's a workflow. For example, if you click this, it opens a modal, then you click this part in the modal, it opens this page. When you're showing the arrows going to the different workflows, that's when it's very important to be visual with developers and even go through the different branches if possible. For example, when you click in the modal, clone post or copy post, it drives to the UI of a new post. So you're really descriptive and the developers know exactly what they should be doing here to carry out your vision. But the third step, like we talked about, is this should be a shared vision. So get everyone communicating as soon as possible about this. This will help surface some areas. For example, let's say you would like the title of the post to be different. You would like it to say duplicated post colon and then the post name. It could be that there isn't actually a filter for that and it's gonna be really hard or sort of hacky to make that work. So your developers might say, sure, this might be possible, but there's gonna be a flash because it's gonna be JavaScript driven. So it will be a certain title and then it'll get changed by JavaScript. So maybe we could talk about a different way of approaching this. It's good to get everyone involved in a solution design session as soon as you can working this out and then have the development happen after as much as possible. This is sort of an ideal we work towards. We all know in reality, sometimes there are changes like a client sees something or people see something after it's been developed and then they would like to change it. This happens, it's part of the development, it's part of why we have Agile, but it's good to be really visual as soon in the process as possible. And a simple pen sketch is much better than just words. And if you can get it in more high fidelity, that helps. Like if you're using Sketch and using like 10 up Sketch Press UI, that's going to be helpful also. But as visual as possible is going to be helpful. And discussing this in detail with developers as earlier as possible, as early as possible would be helpful. Another point is don't worry too much about all of the technical terms to use, like could we extend this or we could redirect to this page. 
it doesn't matter as much if you don't get all the specific words or specific terms right but the most important thing is to have things visual like if you click here you have an arrow going to the next screen so they understand the areas the workflow when you click for example that modal that appears then when you click clone post where that drives to it's not as much that you have the sketches looking pretty and everything's perfect and all your terms are perfect but the more important thing is to have a shared understanding at the beginning of the project as much as possible then you can move to the development phase and inevitably there will be some different ideas maybe there's something that the developers understood a little different from how you understood it and there's going to be some back and forth that's inevitable but it's important to have things as descriptive as possible and this could mean opening several different tickets for example like we talked about the modal ui that might appear when you click clone post that can be its own jira ticket or github issue and then you could have another ticket for when you click duplicate post exactly what happens so people don't get overwhelmed. I've had it once where there were a couple tickets that had 10 or 20 acceptance criteria and it was a little overwhelming. But if you're having things very well described in specific tickets or issues, that's gonna be helpful. It'll be helpful if they're as visual as possible. And if you're discussing them as soon as possible with everyone involved, especially developers. Hope this has helped. I'm about to get back to it. We're in um, Parque Mexico here. But let me know if you have any questions about the best ways to communicate with developers and what kind of ideas that you have for this.